Happy National Beer Day. I hope you knew that. Oh, you beer lovers. You better have. It is National Beer Day. You better be drinking a cold beverage today. I will be drinking, I'm going to guess, somewhere in the range of seven. Just, just guessing. I already have had one, but, you know, my usual session IPA. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, I have got in front of me uh, a lovely uh, 2021 version of Parabola from Firestone Walker from our favorite wine uh, place, Paso Robles, or excuse me, Paso Robles, as the locals say. Um, but yeah, this is the 2021 version. It differs from the other versions of Parabola uh, that all the other versions were just solely bourbon barrel based. This allowed three equal parts of, uh, you know, to for the uh, base stout to develop. Uh, they were matured on bourbon, weeded whiskey, and rye whiskey. And what it did is, it, and then they obviously combined it all in <clears throat> the end. And what the what came from the rye was kind of a black pepper, you know, rye bread kind of feel to it. And the, uh, the uh, weeded kind of gave it a sweet, uh, said like kind of a cereal thing, cereal grains type of thing. Not sure how, how I feel about that, but, um, you know, if it's a little sweeter on top of the Vardy, the, the uh, bourbon barrel aging, you know, we'll see. Just don't want it too syrupy, but we'll see. This one is 13.6 on the Richter, so pretty much like wine. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, ready to dig in on National Beer Day. So I think I might even have to do two reviews today. Watch for the following one. Uh, what up, my man, Shannon Sharp? Go Broncos. Go Buffs. My Nuggets are playing tonight. Go Nuggets. And, uh, you know, Lahaina. Aloha. All right. Yeah. Uh, you should go there sometime. Maui. Anyway, no further ado. I've been sitting on this for a while. This I got this for about 10 bucks for, a uh, obviously, a 12-ouncer. Uh, legendary Parabola. Let's go. All right. And on that note, do me a favor. The like button down there. I would love it if you would hit it right now and do do me a solid. Uh, also, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along? I'll uh, always be drinking some st stellar, two reasonable beers. Let's I'll, I'll tell you that. All right, there you go, 2021 Parabola. All right, the uh, yep, yeah, already kind of already can smell the the just OG bourbon uh, barrel aged smell. The sweetness, kind of the uh, syrupy sweetness. All right, um, not much more than that right off. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe some cocoa notes from the stout. But here's the U.N. National Beer Day. No words, just emotions. Here we go. Cheers. Um, yeah, that's uh, not too syrupy. Mouthfeel is definitely not too crazy thick. Almost feel on it's, it's got like a thin maple uh, maple feel to it actually. I'm not sure if that's from maybe the uh, you know the weeded whiskey kind of coming in more. Not sure if if that's mixing with the bourbon uh, notes or whatever, but yeah, definitely getting a slight ish maple even feel to it. Okay, um, the usual, uh, just nice rounded edge, and this is definitely not thin. Um, again, stay nice lingering uh, uh, sweetness and cocoa stays with you. Uh, give me a second, I'm going to see if there's any notes, any other notes I get, and uh, yeah, hold on one sec. Okay then, um, yeah. Um, Kind of, yeah, a few sips in. Forgot to mention, obviously, it has a nice uh, kind of roasted, uh, subtle roasted coffee with, again, I said kind of has like a ish maple syrup uh, kind of feel to it. But it's also kind of like the, the caramel and roasted coffee. There's a subtle uh, caramel, or I don't want to say subtle, so, so it's, it's there. And uh, roasted coffee that are along with kind of the sweetness from the bourbon. And maybe, again, that's why, you know, it feels like almost like a grade two maple syrup where, again, it's not the thick stuff. It's the... Uh, you know, we used to put in the uh, the lemon juice that we do when we did the cleanse, that gr grade, the high grade maple syrup. But uh, yeah, 
look look there at the uh, I don't know if you can kind of see that. Eh, it's tough to see. But yeah, nice. Uh, literally looks like a latte right on top. I don't know if you can kind of. Yeah, it's, it's tough without spilling this good, phenomenal 13.6% multiple whiskey aged stout. Um, yeah, again, the mouth feels about 60%. And uh, yeah, that is, I, I would uh, drink that every day or at least every other day, you know. Take a day off from, from some of the, hev the heavy stuff, even though I don't take a day off from coffee. So, <laughs> what's the difference? Um, all right, then. Stellar drink. You should just try to find it. Uh, about 10 bucks if you can get it. Or, you know, at least on the main market. Maybe you can get it for better than that. I'm not sure. <clears throat> all right. Get that kind of out of the way. Uh, from Stellar down to Hell No. Um, there you go. I'm gonna go. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Couldn't uh, I? I can't ask for more from a, a barrel aged uh, stout. It's got it's got the coffee. It's got kind of a, a peppery uh, caramel. You know, coffee, cocoa. It's it's got all the flavors. Not too over over indulging. Even the price is is for for that for that thirteen point six and this quality of beer. Yeah, good price too. So I'm gonna go with in my again. I gotta get a new marker. Stellar. That is a stellar beer. Now again, it's not like super, you know, uh, easy priced. Obviously, ten bucks for a twelve ouncer. But yeah, this is uh, this is a good beer. I'm glad I acquired it on National Beer Day. Again, it's been I probably acquired it like at least three weeks ago and just been sitting on it for the right time, perfect time. So, anyway, I know you guys are going to have plenty of cold beverages today, or at least a couple, and I'm going to review another, you know, pretty known, but I'm going to go down to a hazy. Uh, I won't say what it is yet, but um, definitely you should be able to get it. It's widely distributed. Uh, big boy as well, so, or not as big as this, but anyway. Um, cheers, National Beer Day. Biggie ups yourself, and, uh, you know, We'll see you on the next beer review. All right.